Theoxidant talus, the northern white cedar, is also known as the eastern arbor vitae in the Cupressaceae. This is the oldest living tree in the northeastern United States, topping out at around 1,700 years. And it occurs very commonly in very dry uplands that are dominated by limestone and in very calcareous swamps called fens. The foliage is very distinct. So it consists of scales that are flattened and the needles are very dark on the top side and very light on the underside. The cones are also very distinct in that they're oblong or egg-shaped and they're upright on the twig turning brown at maturity. The bark is similar to many members of the Cupressaceae and having very narrow ridges that are quite shreddy and with age this tree will become almost a grayish to whitish color in appearance. It's a very striking tree, especially older specimens. It's also a very good landscape tree because of many horticultural varieties and its drought tolerance. It's a very functional tree. It's also used for cedar posts because of the rot resistant wood. Thea occidentalis, the arborvitae, or northern white cedar. <laughs>